Hi again, everybody. Right, so let's, uh, we've got our video to this point now. So let's start adding these crawl lines, shall we? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna close down our source video because uh, we've got that where we want it now. And what we're gonna do is we're going to create a template for some moving crawl lines around the edge. Now there's two ways to do this. We could either condense our footage down and put it over the top of some objects, which would be easier to make in one way. But of course, if we want to keep that as a template, it means then that it becomes kind of complicated every time we want to bring footage in. We're always having to rescale it over the top of the, the bits that we're, that we're moving, these crawl lines. So instead of that, what we're going to do is we're going to create a composition with some crawl lines around the edge and then an empty space in the middle. And what we can do is we can just drag footage into that as much as we like. Uh, so we've got a template then that we can use for, for forever. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do First of all, is we're going to start by coming up to layer and we're going to go to new and solid. OK, now this solid, uh, when we click the solid settings, we can change uh, our settings and we'll be doing that in further tutorials. But what you want to do for this one specifically is just make sure it's the same size as the composition. You can do that just by clicking make comp size, although this one already is 1080 by 1080. OK, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a nice bright green color because we're going to be using this solid as a guide. So I'm going to go, OK, lime green solid and I'm going to click OK. So there's our lime green solid. Right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the properties of my lime green solid and transform and I'm going to scale this down to about 97 percent. OK, there we go. Um, the way I did that, I mean, you can either you can drag it as well if you want. So you can click on the number and you can drag the cursor from side to side and it'll adjust the scale, as you can see. OK, which is a nice quick way of adjusting things. Or you can just click on it and then type in 97 and hit return and it'll be 97 percent. If you ever want to make something scale at different proportions uh, with the X and Y axis, you just turn off this little button here, which is the constrained proportions. Then if I change that now, then it will condense it down like so. You see? But that's not what we want to do. So I'm going to hit Command and Z to undo that. Click that button back on. And so here's my uh, my guide. And what we're going to do is we're going to be using this as a uh, a guide to help us to build our crawl lines. Okay. So the first thing we can do uh, is we can turn off our source video because we don't actually need that at the moment. So what we can see now is this is the transparent area behind okay what i'm now going to do is i'm going to go to layer and new and solid and this is going to be my background for my crawl line so i'm going to click on my color here and i'm going to go to white because i'm going to want a white background for this one so i'm going to click ok now after effects is just like photoshop and premiere and other adobe products in as much as the clip which is on top in the stack is the one that you'll be seeing okay so if i pick up this white solid now and I drag it down below the lime green solid, I can now see my white solid and the lime green one that we rescaled on top. Okay, and the lime green solid is just a guide, so I'm not going to bother renaming that because I know what that is. But the white solid, I'm going to right click and I'm going to rename that background just so I know what I'm doing. Okay, so this is the width of our crawl lines, then. Okay, uh, and so this is the sort of our footage is going to basically fit into this space, this green space here. So what we need to do is we need to highlight background. OK, and we're going to come up to this tool here, this rectangle tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a mask, which is going to cut out the space, which is highlighted by this green solid. Now, if you're familiar with After Effects, you'll know that I can use this green solid to actually cut out the mask and, I, and it saves me a job. But because this is a tutorial, I just want to be clear about what it is that we're doing. So um, for our purposes, I'm going to just create the mask by using this green solid as a guide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in one by using the, the wheel on my mouse. And I'm going to hold down the space bar, not, not tap it. I'm going to hold it down to get this hand tool, which allows me to move my composition around. OK, if you don't do that, then obviously uh, anytime you click, you're going to be creating uh, either creating an object or if you're on your, your arrow tool, you could end up moving a a solid around like so that sort of thing okay i just uh, again command z to undo that so what you've got to do is hold down space bar to move your composition around if i zoom out one you'll see what's going on okay so i'm going to zoom in down there i'm going to click on my rectangle and i'm going to line it up with the edge of 
this green solid and I'm going to drag it down like so. Okay. Like that. And then I'm going to hold down spacebar. So get that to the bottom like so. Okay. And if I click again now using this tool, it will create another mask. So what I'm going to do now is click on this uh, arrow and I'm going to click on this box here and drag that. Oh, no, I've clicked on the wrong thing. I've dragged it down. Okay, so I'm going to undo that. Click Command Z. I'm going to click on it and now I'm going to drag this down like so, which is expanding it out to there. And now if I zoom it out, and hold down, you'll see that my mask now, this is my mask here. If I click on my mask, you can see this sort of um, pale color here is uh, indicated by the color of the mask lines. And what's happened now is because we made sure that background was highlighted, if I turn off my lime green solid now, which was just a guide, remember, what you can see is this mask has now cut away parts of the solid that were around it and kept the bit that was in the middle. OK, now we're going to do more about masks in a future tutorial, so I won't kind of go over that too much now. Suffice to say that that's not what we want, because what we want is we want the background to be around the edge and we want to cut out the bit in the middle. So all we need to do is go down to our mask. And if you can't see mask, you have to open up the properties of background. And now you should see in addition to transform, you should also see masks. So you can open up masks, mask number one. There's your properties for your mask. OK, and again, as I say, we'll talk about masks again in the future. All you need to know for now is that you can click invert. And now that mask will add the uh, or the solid that's around the mask and cut out the bit that's in the middle. There's another way of doing that as well. You can turn that off and you can actually go to subtract and it will do the same thing. OK, but for our purposes, I'm just going to click invert. It's nice and easy. OK, right. So there's our uh, transparent bit in the middle now then with our white solid around the edge and if we now turn our source video back on by using this this eye icon here we can now see our footage underneath our background okay now what this means of course is that uh, some of that footage is getting lost because it's underneath these crawl lines and you might not want that but so because we uh, rescaled our lime green solid to 97 percent it's a simple uh, job just to open up the properties of our source video and scale our source video as well down to 97%. And now if we turn off the background, we can see that the sides of our footage are uh, aligned with these crawl lines. Obviously we miss a little bit top and bottom because the, the um, source footage is, has got extra on top and bottom, you know, but at least we're not losing anything from side to side. Okay. You don't have to do that. It's just a, just a thing you can do. Okay. So there's our footage then working in our border. So far, so good. So what we need to do now is we need to add some moving um, uh, solids to create our crawl lines, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my lime green solid and, and just delete that because I don't need that guide anymore. So that's a backspace, okay? I'm gonna close up the properties of background and source video to keep everything tidy. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to layer and new and solid. And I'm going to pick a color for my crawl lines. I'm going to go with a nice, interesting blue. OK, and again, 1080 by 1080. Click OK. So there's our solid. OK, and what you can do is we can come into our solid properties. So open up transform We can undo this little constraint proportions box on the scale. And now I can just drag that to the side until I get a solid. Now, you don't have to be too precious about this solid. Uh, in terms of its width, because obviously it's going to go over this channel here, but it doesn't matter whether it's too wide or not, because all I need to do is pick up my position for it and slide it to the side. And lo and behold, anything which is off the edge of the um, project will just get lost. You know, it just won't be rendered out. So it doesn't matter how wide it is. On the contrary, keeping it a bit wider just allows you to actually see what's going on quite often. So, you know, it's one of those things. So what I want to want to do, first of all, is I'm going to zoom in because I, I can see if I hold down space and move around, I can see that there's like a pixel, which I've missed here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come to my position. And I'm going to move this until and be nice and fine with it until it's totally overlapping that white. OK, there we go. And so that's my blue solid for this one side. OK. So I'm going to rename this, I'm going to right click, get a rename, and I'm going to go 
uh, left vertical. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to highlight left vertical and I'm going to go to Command and D on my keyboard. If, if you're using a PC, I'm not quite sure what it is. It's be something like uh, Shift or Option D, something like that. Okay, so just try it until it works. What you're going to do is Command D and you're going to duplicate that. Okay, I'm going to right click on left vertical 2 and rename that. Um, and I'm going to get rid of the 2 and I'm going to come back to here and I'm going to click right vertical and I think you can probably imagine what's going to happen. I'm going to open up the properties of this and I'm going to uh, open up my transform and I'm going to position this over on this side. Okay, and I'm going to just zoom in. Remember space to zoom to move around and I'm just going to move this until it lines up nicely with the edge of my white. So far so good. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do now then is I'm going to get my right vertical and I'm going to go Command D to right vertical. But instead of that, I'm going to rename that and I'm going to go to top slider. Okay, now with top slider, what I can do is I can open up the properties of that transform. Okay, and this time I'm going to rotate this. So what we want is to rotate this by 90 degrees so that it goes across the top. We can either use our slider like so, so we can actually rotate it around. If we want to make sure it goes by specific proportions, we can hold down shift and that then means that it will sit on like 90 degrees, for example. So it will jump between like 10 degree increments like that. Okay, so we can get it precisely to 90 degrees or we can just go, if we know it's 90 degrees that we want, we can just go into rotation and just go 90 degrees and hit return. And there's our uh, nice right angled uh, solid. Okay, so what we can do now is we can go into position, we can move this along like so, and we can come up to the top like that, and make sure that that's lining up with our white solid like that. Okay, and then uh, I think you can probably imagine what we're going to do now. We're going to go to top slider, we're going to Go Command D, and we're going to right click and rename this Base Slider. Okay, and now we're going to open up Base Slider and we're going to go Transform and Position, and we're going to drag this one down until it comes to the bottom, like so. Good. So, what we've got now is we've got our four different sliders which we're going to animate in a minute. Okay, and if we turn those off, we can also see our uh, white background underneath. And we've also got our footage in the middle. And if we turn our footage off, we can see there's our gap, our transparent area. So these, uh, this solid is on top of anything we drag underneath. So our source video is at the bottom of the stack. Uh, and we're going to basically be overlaying this crawl lines over the top of it. And as we turn our solids on, we can now see what those crawl lines are going to look like when it's finished. Okay. So what we'll do then is we'll come back in the next video and we will actually animate these so we can get them to be working in proportion to the video. Okay, so I shall see you in the next tutorial.